Hi, my name is Tom Pine, Chief Technologist for VistaQuest Corporation, a brand licensed partner for Hewlett Packard for digital imaging products including digital still cameras, digital video cameras, and digital photo frames. In this presentation, I would like to introduce the F150 Wireless Digital Video Camera. The HP F150 combines great image quality with a novel interface all packaged in a small portable camera weighing less than two ounces. Its small size fits nicely in your pocket or purse. This camcorder with integrated Wi-Fi works with your Wi-Fi enabled mobile phone, tablet, or similar device. This camcorder is a perfect solution as a car cam on your way to work for capturing a video at work, uh, clipping it to your bike handlebars for a ride, or clipping it on the kid's pocket to capture a school play up close. The wide angle lens allows you to capture your memories in 720p high definition video in pretty much any environment at any time. So what do we mean by wireless video camcorder? What does this really mean? The F-150 isn't your average miniature camera. The F-150 is a special purpose device with unique wireless video capability. The F-150 will capture both still images and high definition video. But then again, so does just about every camera and phone these days. So what makes the F-150 unique? What is unique is the integral Wi-Fi capability. Using the built-in Wi-Fi capability, you can connect the F-150 directly, wirelessly, to your mobile device, such as a smartphone, or to your wireless PC computer. You may also connect the F-150 to the internet, popularly called the cloud these days, to broadcast live video. So all of this functionality has been packaged into one compact little camera. It's pretty amazing. As I will explain the product in the next several minutes, the utility and benefit of wireless connectivity will become more apparent. A free application for your Android or iOS mobile device offers you access to an easy setup menu to configure your camera and Wi-Fi settings. But first, let's talk about the F-150 retail product. What is typically included with the F-150 is an AC adapter, a USB cable, an integral rechargeable uh, lithium-ion battery, uh, typically several mounting brackets or clips, maybe a tripod mount, strap mount, a quick start guide, and a warranty document. These are the most common accessories included with the product, but these may vary with each retailer as they have customized the product offering to their particular market. To understand the F-150, let's start with a tour of the physical features of the product. It's fairly simple. There are really only 11 features. There are not a lot of buttons and controls, but it's important to know what they all do and what they all mean. So let's start with front. Here you'll find three items of interest. First. Note a wide angle lens with about a 100 degree field of view. This is a fixed focus lens. As such, there is no optical zoom. Later on in the presentation, you'll see that there is a four time digital zoom, but the lens itself is fixed focused and fixed focal length. Next, note that there is a tiny integral microphone in the upper right hand corner of the front face. It looks like a single dot. On the black version of the F-150, this feature is barely noticeable. It is pretty obvious on the white version, however. This is the microphone which the F-150 uses to capture audio. I should note that there is not a provision for an external microphone. There isn't enough space on the product for yet another port. As a side note, I should also note that if you're capturing video while holding the F-150 by hand, make sure your finger is not covering the microphone. Next, you'll notice a speaker to the right of the lens, which is a pattern of four dots. Like the microphone, the speaker is almost imperceptible on the black model, but it stands out on the white version. This is a saw speaker and perhaps a feature you will not use very often, but it is part of the two-way audio capability, which I will explain later. And finally, the status LED. The LED offers recording and streaming video status. On the right side of the F-150, you'll notice three features. First, a USB mini port, which is used for charging the battery and for connecting to a computer as a mass storage device. This is also known as removable disk. The USB slot on the F-150 is called a USB 8-pin microconnector. It is one of the common USB connectors used for portable electronic devices. Secondly, note a memory card slot which accepts micro SD memory cards up to 64 gigs, although to my knowledge it's only been tested with 32 gig cards. It should be noted that you must have a micro SD card in the card slot in order to use the F-150 in digital still or digital video modes. If a card is not present, the F-150 will not go into its digital camera modes. It will still work as a Wi-Fi device. It will still stream, but it won't work as a digital camera mode without that memory card. Typically, a micro SD card is not included with the product, so you will need to purchase one. 
When you select a micro SD card, make sure to get a class 4 or higher for purposes of recording high definition video. And finally, you'll notice a provision that enables you to loop through a hand or a wrist strap. Let's digress for a moment and talk about the F-150 battery and charging. The F-150 has an integral lithium ion battery. The battery is built in and it is not user replaceable. To charge your F-150, you can use the AC adapter that comes with the product. I've never actually timed it, but it seems like it takes usually about an hour or more to fully charge the F-150 from a fully depleted state. If you don't have an AC adapter handy, you can charge your F-150 by plugging it into the USB port of any computer. All you need is a USB cable with a USB 8-pin microconnector. This is a very common cable. Plug it in and the F-150 will charge from the available USB power. As a further convenience, you can charge the F-150 from just about any common 5-volt charger. I often use my cell phone charger or even my Kindle Fire charger to charge my F-150. Note that whatever charger you use must be capable of delivering at least 1.1 amps. Most adapters will do that, but some may be too small. Check with the fine print on the label of your adapter. The left side has two buttons, one for power, the other for mode selection. To power up the F-150, press and hold the power button for about a second or two. To change modes, press the mode button to sequentially step through the four operating modes. On the back of the F-150, there are four status LEDs. These LEDs indicate which of the four modes the camera is in. On the left side are the two camera modes, digital still, digital video, and to the right, the two wireless modes, direct and cloud which is the internet, which is more specifically streaming video. When you power on the F-150, these LEDs will illuminate. When charging the F-150, these LEDs will illuminate red sequentially. On the top of the F-150, you'll notice the shutter button. The shutter is used for the two camera modes. In still mode, this is the shutter button used to take a picture. In digital video mode, the shutter button is used to start and stop video recording. In the wireless modes, which we'll discuss later, the shutter button has no function. On the bottom of the F-150, you will see a channel. This is a channel for slide mount accessories. This is a mounting slot which adapts a number of mounting brackets, holders, magnets, even a quarter twenty tripod thread mount. The F-150 standard product comes with a few of these basic mounts, the extent of which may vary by country, region, or retail arrangements. Additional mounting accessories are available for sale online. The slide mount design accepts many different mounting configurations which can be changed quickly without tools or special effort. In the previous section we talked about the physical features of the F-150. Now we'll talk about the basic functions. This is where the F-150 really shines. For purposes of this presentation I'll be using two F-150s, one black and the other white. Let's start with a fully charged camera. The F-150 has four operational modes two camera modes and two wireless modes. Two camera modes are digital still, you know, photos if you will, and digital video, movies. These camera modes are commonly understood by virtually everyone today. The F-150 camera functions are similar to those you'll find on any digital camera or phone. The still images are 3 megapixel JPEGs and the videos can be captured as either 720p or in a smaller format known as WQVGA in MP4 video file format. So video resolution is either 1280 by 720, which is a high def standard, or 400 by 240, which is the wide quarter VGA. Photos and videos are saved to your micro SD memory card, as I mentioned earlier. Now one might call out an obvious exception to the similarity between the F-150 and other digital imaging devices in that the F-150 does not have an integral display screen. That's true. While the F-150 does not have an integral display screen, it does have a virtual screen. That being the screen on your wireless mobile device. I'll demonstrate that shortly. Let's turn now to the wireless operational modes. The F-150 has two wireless modes, direct and cloud. Cloud is an increasingly popular reference to the internet or more specifically to the web. The remainder of this presentation will discuss these two wireless modes. These wireless modes are the core features that make the F-150 truly unique. Let's discuss each of these briefly. 
In direct mode, your F-150 will literally connect directly wirelessly to your Wi-Fi capable mobile device or notebook PC. Think of this as a small Wi-Fi network consisting of just two devices. It's like your F-150 and your mobile device are connected in a private one-to-one -one connection. In cloud mode, the F-150 will join a Wi-Fi network as a means to connect to the cloud. In this diagram, we suggest two ways your F-150 may join a Wi-Fi network. You may connect using a wireless router or a wireless access point as shown above in the upper path. Or your F-150 could join a mobile hotspot from a mobile phone or a hotspot device as shown in the lower path. Either way can get you to the ultimate destination, which is the cloud, or more specifically, the Ustream server, as shown here. In the prior slides, we described connecting the F-150 to your mobile device. The F-150 is a Wi-Fi enabled device that works with many Wi-Fi capable mobile devices. The F-150 will work with Android based mobile devices, Apple iOS based mobile devices, or a wireless PC such as a laptop. To unlock the full potential of your F-150, you must have one of these Wi-Fi devices. It is important to note that Wi-Fi connectivity is a fundamental requirement. Your camera must be within range of a Wi-Fi network to connect to the cloud. The F-150 is not 3G, nor is it 4G, nor does it use any telecommunication service. The F-150 strictly operates using Wi-Fi. Furthermore, the Wi-Fi network should be G or N. Your mobile device must be Wi-Fi capable in order to connect in direct mode. In this presentation, I will demonstrate the Wi-Fi functionality of the F-150 using iOS devices, primarily because that's what I have at my immediate disposal. Compatible iOS devices include the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. In this demonstration, I will use a Gen 3 iPod Touch running iOS 5, a Gen 4 iPod Touch Gen 4 running iOS 6, and an iPad 2 running iOS 7. Keep in mind that the Android family of devices will work much the same way, almost identically in fact. The functionality is the same, only the screenshots will be slightly different. Similarly, wireless PC laptop users will have the same functionality within their respective environment. So let's get started. The first step is to use your mobile device and go to the Apple Store or to Google Play and install a free app called HP UCAM. HP UCAM is essential for F-150 setup and control. In fact, you really can't use and access the wireless capabilities without using HP UCAM. Go to the App Store, search for HP UCAM. It's a free app, click to install it. The HP UCAM app serves two primary purposes. When installed on your mobile device, it is the controller for the F-150, basically serving as the display screen that is not present on the back side of your F-150. So think of your mobile device as a remote controller for the F-150, much like you might have a remote controller for your television. Think about a common digital camera or video camera. They always, almost always have a screen on the back. You can use that screen to compose your shot, set up options, etc. Since the F-150 doesn't have an integral screen on the back, you have no way of doing those things. The HP UCAM application enables your mobile device to become a wireless interface, essentially a wireless remote screen for your F-150 through which you can control the camera. Let's see how this all works. Once you see it, it'll all come together. So let's begin. For this demonstration, I will actually have two F-150s, one black, the other white. Mobile PC users will find a PC application stored on the F-150 itself in internal memory. Connect the F-150 to your PC via USB. The F-150 will appear as a removable disk under my computer. Browse to locate the installer. Now that I've installed the HP UCAM app, I will turn my attention to the F-150. I will power up my black F-150 by pressing its power button. Note that you must press and hold the F-150 power button for several seconds to get its power on. The camera will acknowledge with a single tone. Release the power button after you hear that tone. Look at the LEDs on the back of the camera. On power up, the F-150 will go to the wireless direct mode. The direct mode LED will flash rapidly green at a rate of about twice per second. During this process, the camera is establishing its Wi-Fi presence. It may take 30 to 60 seconds to do so. When the green icon is solid, the F-150 is ready to connect to your Wi-Fi enabled mobile device. 
At this point, the F-150 is broadcasting an, an SSID. Power on your wireless mobile device in Wi-Fi mode. I normally use my iPod Touch, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'll use my iPad 2 because it has the largest screen, and I will include screenshots of the steps. First, go to Settings. Then, touch on Wi-Fi to display all available Wi-Fi networks within range. Look for your F-150 under the section labeled Choose a Network. Your F-150 will appear as a network with a name beginning with U2 followed by a bunch of numbers. In my screenshot, you will see U2-F150 Black. That's because I renamed mine. Your new F-150 will have a factory assigned number, which is some unintelligible number beginning with U2. I renamed mine F-150 to make it easier to find. This is especially useful if, as you, I do, you have several F-150s running simultaneously. Touch on the F-150 to select this Wi-Fi network. Okay, now we have selected the F-150 as our Wi-Fi network. What we have just done is create a one-on-one -on -one wireless network. You might call it an ad hoc network or a peer-to-peer -peer wireless connection. For purposes of the F-150, we simply call this direct mode. Your F-150 and your wireless mobile device are now connected directly to one another. Note that my iPad is now connected to my F-150 and only my F-150 at this time. I am not simultaneously connected to between the F-150 and any other Wi-Fi network right now. I have established an exclusive direct wireless connection between my iPad and the camera. The reason you want to do this is to set up your F-150 and control it remotely. Next we will start the HP UCAM app while the F-150 and my iPad are in direct mode. Do note that the F-150 will power off in a minute or two if it does not sense that the direct connection is being exercised. The HP UCAM app will open. As I launch the HP UCAM app, I will see my F-150 camera listed. This is a good thing. Do note, however, that it will take as long as 60 to 90 seconds from the time you have selected your F-150 as your preferred wireless network to the time that your F-150 appears as the default choice in the HP UCAM splash page. So sometimes it takes a minute to get recognized. If a network other than your F-150 appears, or no network at all, hit the refresh button. You may need to do this several times until your F-150 comes up. When your F-150 is displayed, click on it to complete the launch of the HP UCAM app enabling you to communicate with your camera using this direct connection. When your F-150 and mobile device are connected, note that the green direct LED on the back of the camera will flash at a rate of approximately once per second. The LED on the front of the F-150 will also flash green at that same cadence. Now we're connected and communicating. Whenever you start the HP UCAM app, it will always go to the View tab. You should see live video from your F-150 in the UCAM app video window. Move the camera around and note the timeliness and smoothness of the direct video stream. Try the digital zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. Get a feel of the remote control aspect of UCAM. Essentially, your mobile wireless device is now a remote controller, allowing you to take photos and videos. You can sustain this direct connection as long as the camera and your device are within range to maintain good signal strength. In view mode, you can actually connect to as many as four F-150s simultaneously. Now, notice at the bottom of the UCAM GUI, there are three tabs, View, Albums, and Settings. Let's walk through each of these tabs. The Albums tab is fairly self-explanatory. You can review the photos and videos currently stored on the micro SD memory card. Click on either of the heading tabs to view either still images or videos. Now, let's explore the third and perhaps most essential tab, the Settings tab. In the Setup tab, there are two sections. They are both very important to camera operations. In the first section, you can make camera settings. These apply to the camera device. In the second section, you can set up your cloud. These apply to the Internet or the cloud, basically your Ustream account. In either case, you will enter critical data into the camera, which will then be stored in the camera for further use. We will look at each of these in further detail. In the camera settings section, you can do a number of things. First, you can rename your camera as I did. 
the factory set name of your F-150 is U2-something. As a convenience, you may change the name of your F-150 to something more meaningful, as I've done here. You can name your F-150 just about anything you like. Even though it is valid, I suggest a name with no spaces in the name. Then you can turn the camera date and time. Uh, you can adjust that. You can turn audio on and off. You can select between 50 and 60 hertz. You can format your SD card, or you can return the camera to its original factory settings. Now, if you're having issues with an SD card, perhaps it's not recognized by the camera, try using the formatting function. When you're done with the camera settings, click on Save to Camera. In the Cloud Settings section, there are two very important settings. One of the most fundamental settings that you will need to enter is your wireless network password. Most wireless networks are prote password protected, but not all. Select the wireless network you will use for purposes of reaching the Internet. Enter the wireless password, if any. Then, you must enter your Ustream account information. To broadcast live video from your F-150 over the Internet to the cloud, you will need a Ustream account. You can sign up for a free account at www.ustream.tv. After you have established a Ustream account, enter your username and Ustream password into the appropriate data fields. When you are done entering your passwords and account information, click on Save to Camera to save this information to the camera's internal memory. You can return to the Setup tab at any time to make changes, updates, or to delete account information. When you're done with camera settings, click on Save to Camera. OK, we have entered our settings and saved them to the camera. We're done with the HP UCAM application for now. It's time to move to the cloud, meaning Ustream. So we're done with direct mode. Now it's time to break the deck direct connection and move the camera onto the internet or the cloud. To do so, click on the button that says Connect to Cloud. The direct connection between my iPad and my camera will be broken and the camera will log on to my Ustream account. Notice the flashing orange cloud LED on the back of the camera as the F-150 logs onto my Ustream account. Notice the flashing orange cloud LED as the F-150 logs onto Ustream using my account parameters. The cloud LED will flash quickly, perhaps twice per second, as the F-150 connects to the Ustream cloud. When a successful connection has been made, the cloud LED will flash green slowly, about once per second. At this time, your F-150 is now streaming, or shall we say broadcasting, live video and audio to my Ustream channel. Let's go see it live. By the way, the direct connection between camera and mobile device is now gone. Your mobile device should divert back to its preferred Wi-Fi network. You might want to check it. Now we will turn our attention to the Internet to view our live video. Go to www.ustream.tv and search for your channel. This is your account name. When your channel has been located, Ustream will acknowledge that your F-150 is connected and streaming live video is indicated by the Live tag in the upper left-hand corner of the preview window. Click on the blue play arrow. Anyone using any device with a web browser from anywhere can now watch your video. You are now streaming live video to Ustream. More specifically, you're broadcasting live video and audio. Note that you may have any number of simultaneous viewers. So there you have it. Your F-150 is broadcasting live. Way cool. I should note something at this time. Since your Ustream account information has been stored in the camera, you don't need to go to, through the UCAM interface to connect to the cloud. Power on your F-150, press the mode button to get you to the cloud LED. The camera has enough information to log on by itself and begin broadcasting. As you get to know the F-150, you will appreciate the level of technological integration that makes this truly a unique product. I hope that you found this video to be very instructive and it really helps you to really enjoy and fully gain full potential out of your F-150. Thank you for your interest in the HP F-150.